Hello friends, this is Ashirwad here. In this video, I will be explaining you some advanced uh, topics on algorithm and uh, also on flowchart. So in the previous lecture, we saw how to write uh, step by step solutions like this one. Okay, this is for addition uh, of two numbers. And uh, the thing here is it's sequential in nature okay what it means is every single instruction will get executed and no instruction uh, will be skipped what if we want the machine to execute some instructions depending on a condition okay so that is i am going to explain now let's take an example let me delete this first check whether a given number is odd number or even number okay how do we generally uh, check whether a given number is odd number or even number is is quite simple we if the number is uh, divisible by 2 then uh, we simply say it's uh, even number or if it is not divisible by 2 it is odd number so uh, let us write the algorithm so step one is of course start then take first number as n now we have to check uh, whether this number is uh, odd number or even number so we write uh, this thing in uh, simple english uh, language if n modulus 2 is 0 now pay attention to what I have just written I have used the modulus operator here this one okay don't call it percentage or percentile in programming in Java programming uh, especially it is called modulus operator and uh, what we are doing is we are dividing n with 2 and uh, we don't want quotient okay if we we had uh, wanted quotient we would have put uh, a division sign or simply slash okay so what does what does this operator do it gives us remainder okay not the quotient so that is exactly what we want so here we are saying that divide n by 2 and check if the quotient uh, sorry check if the remainder is zero or not okay now I'm, I'm giving some space and then i'm writing the instructions which are to be executed only when this condition is true okay so what do we need to do if n modulus 2 is zero we simply have to display the number is even okay this is what we have to display and what if the remainder is not zero okay so what we write simple english okay so don't uh, uh, think about the uh, technical language it's just simple english language okay so try to understand otherwise otherwise simply display the number is odd okay and after this the last step will of course be stop so that's it for this algorithm i hope it is clear to you take a close look at uh, this algorithm one more time divide n by 2 but store the remainder check the remainder okay if it is 0 or not so if this condition is giving you the answer in yes then the machine or the computer will display this message this message will not be displayed in this case and if the remainder is not 0 then it will display this message 
एंड नॉट दिस मैसेज ना दिस टाइप ऑफ एल्गोरिथम इज कॉल्ड कंडीशनल ओके लेट एस मिनिमाइज दिस थिंग एंड आई एम गोइंग टू ड्रॉ द फ्लो चार्ट फॉर द सेम टू हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड सो लेट्स बिगिन विथ स्टार्ट then uh, to take number we'll take a parallelogram we write take first number as n and of course we connect with the arrow sign then we have to check this number so whenever we have condition uh, in flow chart you have to take a decision box as what we uh, saw in the previous uh, video so i'm going to take this decision symbol here and inside it i am going to write is n modulus 2 zero okay so this is the condition that we have put here we connect this way now as far as this box is uh, this shape is concerned uh, this condition is concerned it will give you result in the form of either true or false okay so we need to have uh, two branches which are uh, which uh, uh, come out uh, of this shape so uh, in in either of these two cases either it is yes or it is no okay i am going to display a message which is output and for output we use a parallelogram again so i put one here i connect like this and one more here and that two is connected with the condition okay and on these lines you have to write the text to indicate which track it is following uh, it is whether it is following the true track or it is following the false track so here i am going to write uh, yes and on this i am going to write no okay so what do i need to display if uh, it is yes display even number fine and here display odd number so this is how we display condition in the flow chart and uh, now we have to stop after displaying either this message or after displaying this message so we we'll put a common uh, stop uh, shape here this is stop we connect like this and uh, with this uh, box this shape also we have to connect so let me take a connector and uh, connect it like this so this is uh, the flow chart is complete now and uh, now we can understand the flow of information so for example if i enter uh, uh, say 
as the number n this 10 will be uh, divided by 2 and remainder will be checked okay so 10 modulus 2 here is 0 or not yes or no in this case it will follow this track because 10 is divisible by 2 so it will follow this track it will not follow this track it will come here it will display the number is even and it will directly jump to stop and what if I enter an odd number like 3 so 3 modulus 2 is checked again and uh, it will not follow this yes track uh, this time it will follow this no track and then it will display the number is odd and then it will stop so this is how we can uh, draw condition this is how we can put condition in flowchart it is very important thing guys uh, to understand the conditional statements how do we put why do we put them and how to make sure that uh, uh, certain uh, instructions are executed only when the condition is true okay so i hope you have understood the concept well if you have liked the content please like and subscribe my channel Thank you so much for watching.